You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Hey, everybody. Dave here. Have you ever wondered where your personal information is lurking online? Like many of you, I was concerned about my data being sold by data brokers. So I decided to try Delete Me. I have to say, Delete Me is a game changer. Within days of signing up, they started removing my personal information from hundreds of data brokers. I finally have peace of mind knowing my data privacy is protected. Delete Me's team does all the work for you with detailed reports so you know exactly what's been done. Take control of your data and keep your private life private by signing up for Delete Me. Now at a special discount for our listeners. Today, get 20% off your Delete Me plan when you go to joindeleteme.com slash N2K and use promo code N2K at checkout. The only way to get 20% off is to go to joindeleteme.com slash N2K and enter code N2K at checkout. That's joindeleteme.com slash N2K, code N2K. The word is SAS. Spelled S for software, double A for ASA, and S for service. Definition. A cloud-based software distribution method where app infrastructure, performance, and security are maintained by a service provider and accessible to users, typically via subscription, from any device connected to the Internet. Example sentence. SaaS is an attractive business solution for organizations who want to outsource on-demand information system applications. Origin and context, also known as web-based software, on-demand software, and hosted software. In the early days of computing, scientists ran computer jobs one at a time in a sequential batch mode that submitted everyone's task to the main computer via a single pre-recorded input magnetic tape, which, after processing, created an output tape that was placed in another computer to print out the results. Yikes! In the 1960s, MIT professor Dr. Fernando Corberto helped usher in the concept of time sharing, a way to switch computing resources between each person logged onto the computer so quickly that it appeared like the user had the computer's undivided attention. Fast forward to the dot-com bubble collapsing and the stock market crashing in 2000. Software companies took a huge hit. News opinion pieces circulated about the Internet's imminent failure and dystopia. During all this doom and gloom, Software as a Service, or SaaS, was born. Improving on the Application Service Provider, or ASP, model, Concur, a travel and expense management software company, became the first real SaaS provider. They transformed their floppy disks and CDs into a web-based solution initiating a multi-tenant architecture. In other words, time slicing in the cloud. Salesforce quickly followed suit, forging their way into the market with dramatic flair. They staged an end-of-software protest outside the user conference of their dominant competitor at the time, Cybel Enterprise Software, by carrying large anti-software picket signs and handing out invitations to their cloud computing coming-out party later that evening. Over the next 20 years, the SaaS business model has evolved into the turnkey solution for end users. And Forbes magazine predicts that by 2024, the global SaaS market size will be worth $369 billion. That's a B for billion. Nerd reference. In a 2020 Bloomberg interview, Mark Benioff, the Salesforce CEO, explained what he meant by the end of software and the three goals that motivated him to leave Oracle and to start Salesforce. I said that first in 1999, Emily, so I had to pull that out of my old tool chest. I just so squarely believe that we needed a new software model, a new model based on the cloud, uh, a new business model where customers pay as they go, 
And look, we also need a new philanthropic model. These traditional software companies have not been the most generous or philanthropic to their communities, as you know. And that's why I started Salesforce. You're right. I left Oracle now almost 22 years ago. And when I did, I really took those three goals. Can we create a new technology model? Can we create a new business model? Can we create a new social model for business? And we're trying to inspire a new industry, a new set of values, a values based on trust, on customer success, on innovation, on equality. IAM experts streamline your identity management with Strata. Integrate any identity service with non-standard apps, apply MFA without changing app code, and ensure always-on identity availability. Strata reduces stress, enhances operational control, and improves security. Avoid the headaches of app refactoring and legacy tech debt. Join industry leaders who trust Strata for their identity solutions. Visit strata.io slash cyberwire, tell us your identity challenge, and get free AirPods Pro. Secure your enterprise's identity management today. Visit strata.io slash cyberwire. And our thanks to Strata for being a longtime friend and supporter of this podcast. <laughs> 